Yeah, what's going on, YouTube family? It's me again, your boy Blood Raw. I see different back at y'all with another quick informative video. Remember to make sure you continue to like, comment, and subscribe. Oh yeah, make sure you post notifications on so you will be alerted every time I continue to drop that. Uh, throw Ike on my YouTube channel, baby. Let's go. This video here, man, I want to do like a reaction video to a past incident that happened back in 2017 that's finally being brought to justice and obtaining justice right now in 2022. This video here, man, is going to be about the guy from Philadelphia that basically was modern day execution by the Philadelphia Police Department, one of their officers. The guy's name, it's a young black melanated brother. His name was Dennis Plowden. They trying to cover it up. It was a fatal shooting that took place back in 2017 in Philadelphia. Now they have finally gotten justice, which the cop only got three, three years sentence for involuntary manslaughter in which the Philadelphia Police Department has done paid the family up to $1 million in lawful, wrongful death when dealing with the guy's murder, Dennis Plowden. But you got to think about it. This guy here, this officer said that he started pursuing this guy because the guy was in a vehicle that was possible suspect of a previous homicide, which he just made that shit up. It's all coming out the light. And the crazy shit about the shit, when the guy put up his hands, meaning Dennis Plowden, the cop shot the boy through his hand and the bullet went into his head. You see how the motherfucking modern day execution is, man. And the thing about it, this cop only got three motherfucking years, bro. You see how it's genocide on our people, bro. You see how they just gun us down in the streets and all our motherfucking people want to do is just get out there in the sun, walk down these streets and protest with signs, no justice, no peace. Man, fuck that, man. I ain't insinuating no violence, but man, we got to turn up on their motherfucking ass, bro. That's the only way this shit gonna stop, man. It's sad, man, on how the people that supposed to protect the people, which I told y'all in a previous video, that serve and protect on the police car, that's all psychology. That is not to protect the citizens. That is to protect the system, to keep the matrix going. I keep telling people, man, just because y'all see that to serve and protect, y'all keep thinking that they are talking about serving and protecting the citizens. That is wrong. That is protecting the system. Think about it, man. Police don't uh, solve crime. They respond to it. They don't prevent crime. They respond to it. Know the difference, people. But yeah, back to Dennis Plowden's case. It's sad, man, on how this man's life was taken back in 2017. And now the family is just not getting justice. With That ain't no justice. This cop only got three motherfucking years, man. And then you got the people saying, what took so long? You got the DA and all them talking about where they had to do a year thorough investigation. What the hell is thorough when the cop basically made up about a possible homicide dealing with the vehicle, straight lied in? And how the hell you shoot a guy through his fingers that had his hands up and the bullet comes to it, hits him in the head? So the bullet, when the officer shot, after the cop got there, six to eight seconds, he shot the guy. The guy had his hands up. The bullet went through his hand, his fingers, then hit him in his head. That was modern-day motherfucking execution, man. I keep telling y'all, man, the Klan is wearing the suits and the ties and the white hospital coats now. They ain't out here hanging motherfuckers from trees and shit, burning crosses anymore, man. They are in the systems and part of the systems. Man, let me tell you something. You don't know how many times people of color have laid up there on these operation tables with a motherfucker that's prejudiced working on them. Think about this shit, man. You, you got the KKK in the uniforms, the suit and ties, and the medical coats as doctors. Boy, the shit goes deep. The plot is thicker than you think. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, y'all got to think. Open up your eyes, man elevate yourself, raise your state of consciousness, but that shit with damn Dennis Plowden, that was modern day motherfucking lynching, execution at its finest. So man, y'all make sure y'all go get the information. Y'all share this video, man, because they trying to sweep it under the rug. You know what I'm saying? So we need to make this aware. This right here should be on every news fucking outlet, every news station in America.
but guess what? It's not. But they made George Floyd seem so important. You see how they have to keep giving people the narrative. Basically, you got people getting gunned down by the police every day, but we don't know about it unless someone shares it on social media or the news outlet broadcast it. But they're not. You got to think about it, how that man life was taken by a pussy ass cop that had no regard for human life, bro. These folks feeling like them badges are protecting them. And just think about it. When you ever heard anybody getting involuntary manslaughter on a three-year sentence out, of here, out here in society? Think about it. He shot that man through his damn hands, his fingers, and the bullet struck him in his head. Straight modern-day execution, man. Real motherfucking modern-day lynching. And like the witness that said, like, why he just didn't shoot him somewhere else in his body? Why he shot him in his head? And the crazy part about it, the guy had his hands up, man. That's the crazy part about it. His name is Didden Dennis Plowden. This had took place back in 2017, and now the cop has just been guilty, found guilty of three years. And he was out on bail with a leg monitor. Now he tried to get bail again, but they revoked the bail this time. And like, hell no, nah, let his ass sit in there. It's time for him to go do his little three years. But think about it. Yeah, they done paid the family up to a million dollars in wrongful, lawful death, but no amount of money is worth a life, man. These folks are modern day lynching us melanated people, man. And like I say, the shootings will never stop. You got to think about it. They have to keep that shit going because they want to stir up the melanated black population, man. They like getting us riled up. They want us to start a civil war amongst the people. But I tell y'all, it's never black and white, white against Mexican. It's never us people against each other. It's us against the system, man. And the only way things going to change, a revolution going to have to come. I'm telling you, people going to have to be willing to be sacrificial lambs, man, meaning lay down their lives for what is right so change will come. If you're scared of death, you're lost anyway now in time. Because death is a state of mind. You got to understand, energy cannot die. It can only be transferred. Think about it, man. But I just wanted to make this video, man, to bring y'all awareness of this situation that's taking place right now in Philly, in Philly, excuse me, from a past situation that happened back in 2017 when a young melanated carbon-based brother lost his life to this fucked up ass system. That man was gunned down in execution in cold motherfucking blood. And ain't no other way to say it. And this pussy ass cop only get three motherfucking years, bro. I'm telling you, people, we're going to have to stand up, man. We're going to have to stand the fuck up, man, because the shootings are going to keep taking place and the people are going to keep fucking protesting with signs out there in that heat. When y'all going to wake up, people? And this goes for everybody in society. When y'all going to wake up? Do you really think the law enforcement give a damn about y'all out there protesting in the hot ass sun all day in the heat? That's y'all dumb ass out there with them signs because y'all ain't doing shit to bring forth change. But out there screaming, no justice, no peace. No justice, no peace. That's just like a young man I know of that's probably about 20 miles away from where I live named Purnell that was shot multiple times in his head over a set of car keys, man. The man became a vegetable, was put into the nursing home where he perished, man. A young black carbon-based melanated being, bro. I'm telling you, nobody's being held accountable. Right over there in this county that's like 20 miles away from me, a good 20-minute ride. Guess what they doing? Protesting with signs. I saw them on social media the other day. No justice, no peace. Man, y'all supposed to be tearing that motherfucker apart, man. Tearing that motherfucker apart. Have it where them businesses cannot make no type of revenue. Shut that motherfucker down. They can't stop y'all, man. I ain't insinuating no violence, but enough is a motherfucking enough, bro. I'm telling you, I'm tired of seeing my people getting gunned down. But I tell you one motherfucking thing, let them touch one of mine. And watch I bring the wrath of God on the entire motherfucking force, bro. I'm telling you, my city wouldn't be able to sleep. I terrorize this motherfucker like uh, Charles Bronson did in uh, Death Wish. Vigilante style. That's why I be praying to the most high that no none of these fuck ass modern day execution KKK law enforcement touch one of my relatives, bro. Because I'm a reek motherfucking havoc, bro. And that's on everything I love. I ain't insinuating no violence. 
and know I am a violent person. But when the shit is going to stop, man, when y'all going to stop stopping marching with these motherfucking signs out in the sun all day? No justice, no peace. Some of y'all out there going hoarse from steady screaming to the top of y'all lungs. No justice, no peace. Y'all walking around all day screaming, no justice, no peace. When y'all gonna go get y'all motherfucking AK-47 and stand out there in the street and let them have it? Let them have it like that. Them same cops that shooting the gun of people down, when y'all gonna go to their house? These GDs, these sick claimers. That's what I don't understand. I told them guys the other day, Y'all all banging, killing each other. But when the police pull up, it's yes, sir, no, sir. That's the real motherfucking ops. Man, it's been your boy Blood Run. Till next time, I'm out.